Hey everyone! So today we're going through the mess hall that is my bedroom. Now my bedroom is my sanctuary, I live in a shared house, it's very very small. Um, and like more recently it's kind of been getting a complete mess. You know, and I'm getting to that point in my life where I have more junk than I really need. So I'm going to go through everything today. Um, and I'm kind of like, I'm going to apply this one year rule to everything. So um, if I have used it in the last year, then I can keep it. If not, then without exception, it's going in the bin, you know? Um, okay, okay, not everything. For example, some really important papers, like my birth certificate, that's gonna, that's, that's gonna be filed away. But everything else, I'm getting rid of it. And apparently it's really liberating, it's really nice, like it made it feel really good afterwards and really fresh. Um, and there's a lot of mess, you know, so. Hope it works. Okay, I said bin, that's a semi-filthy lie. I'm actually putting it in a charity bin because, you know, what's the point of throwing things out when you give it to a charity shop? And they may not use it, yeah, I know, but it's better than, so see, some things it just feels like wrong throwing out, you know? Um, so, charity. But first, food. Okay, so I'm just gonna prepare this bag right here. Bin and charity. Uh, looking at everything, I'm almost already ashamed. There's just just mess everywhere, and everything's just so cluttered. There's just DVDs and flowers and, and wires and cables and books and just so many books and books and books. Oh, uh, okay. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, so I'm thinking I start in one corner of the room and I work my way round clockwise. Okay, so at the moment I'm kind of just picking stuff up and putting it on the bed. Um, and that's when I'm applying my, my principles. Have I used it in a year? Yeah. Goes on the bed. If not, then it's either bin or charity. It's scary. I think I'm trying I'm think I'm avoiding things just because I don't wanna like this this tiki. I've not used this in a year. I really like it. Two lovely shisha pipes that I've used like once or twice, seven years ago. Charity! Yeah, this plant is definitely dead. Why does everything I touch die? Well, so far so good. I've done like half the room, it's kind of exhausting. But it feels good to be able to be like, hey look, check this out. So like, that's kind of tidier now. Like, some of those have gone. It's empty. It's really nice. Uh, we're gonna ignore the charity pile and then the pile of things still to either rearrange bin or charity. That's definitely for the bin. I mean, there's all these freaking cables and things. Recycling pile. Yeah, there's like loads of stuff, okay, which is going to be absolutely great, lugging all the way to the charity shop. That's fine, especially the bin bags are really flimsy, but that's okay. So, like I said, we're doing all right. I've also realised that the bin's not been emptied yet because it's not bin day for a couple of days. So maybe it'll fit. I don't know. Let's, let's go for it. Let's do this. Also, since the time back, actually, um, like tidying, it's gotten pitch black outside. It's so dark outside now. Where has the sun gone? Why is winter here? Okay, so one of the most difficult things uh, was the bookshelf, which I haven't yet finished. Okay, so I have a lot of books that I've collected throughout my like life, and like I had this dream where I would like have my own private library but like it's just impossible to carry so many books so I've gone through and I've gotten like a load of the ones that I will never read again and like I have never liked and I'll probably never ever read again um, and I have put those into the charity box and that's kind of heartbreaking for all you book lovers out there it's absolutely heartbreaking so this is what we got so far okay so you know it's getting there it's slowly but surely getting there um, excuse my little pit boy bubble head Lots of novels and some nerdy stuff and all my research books and stuff and my studying. 
And then I kind of found this pile of things that I need to keep because like they're expensive things like my motorbike helmet because my motorbike got stolen. And one day I'll get another motorbike. I'm not going to throw away like a perfectly good mo motorbike helmet. I'm not going to put that charity. Stupid charity. Um, I don't really know where to put it. I'm going to find like a hole somewhere that I can just like stash stuff in. But it's, it's doing good. For just over halfway it's doing good. The bed is still horrendous. I'm kind of sad by all of this, but I can get through it. Like, okay, so record player, do I need this whenever I had that last? I need it. Where am I going to put it? Where are the plugs? Who knows? What do I come it? Yeah, we'll deal with that. iPad, I kind of use these kind of stuff, like family photos, a giant stuffed teddy bear. I mean, I don't know what to do with that, but you know, the girlfriend loves it, so that has to stay. The girlfriend loves it. Uh, protein, you know, because I'm so massive and hench. It's looking good, right? Apart from, you know, that corner. That corner is pretty bad. It's looking pretty good. I feel like I'm achieving something. It's not what I kind of wanted to achieve, but it's something, and that's the important thing. I have way more of these, like, cleaning, you know, utensils and liquids and things than any one person needs. Um, oh, I can explain. Poker chips, which they're important to have. I think everyone knows that. Uh, There's just like cleaning utensils, old CDs, like a clipboard tray, which I do use uh, rarely with work and things. Uh, just lots of paperwork. I've kind of thrown all my paperwork into like a little pile um, to kind of deal with later because it's getting too late and I just cannot be bothered right now. Also in random finds is a Phantom of the Opera mask. Cool. So I found like three tins of Marmite, because who doesn't have three tins of Marmite hidden right in their bedroom? So I made my little bathroom area with my, my sink, and I kind of made this, um, this, this long black uh, kind of stand, um, I think we got from, from a charity shop ages ago. And I've kind of put it, so I've got like the stuff I use, kind of my multivitamins and stuff I use less, like beard trimming, um, and just cleaning products at the bottom, and made use of like this wicker basket. Yeah, I'm really kind of happy with this the, the bookshelf. Like, it's not my dream bookshelf with thousands and thousands of books on, but you know, it's it's nice. It's got the key book. Finally, my TV and desk space here is really clear, which is really nice. I've kind of put like a load of books at the back and this kind of paperwork stuff. That's you know, it's kind of temporary, but I've got you know, look at that. The PS4 is so slim you can barely even see it, and like the Xbox, you know, it's just a big clunky black Xbox. It blends into the shadows. It's fine. There's another bookshop, uh, books like shelf, um, and is this Mexican? I don't know if this looks Mexican. It's cacti, and there's a little, you know, a little tiki man. Hey, a little tiki man. Oh, hey. Um, and again, just like a bed space, which doesn't look like much, but before again, it was really cluttered because I had that, uh, the giant record player on it. So now it just kind of feels more open. I don't have to leave my book, like, lying on the ground. Ignore the stuffed animals. They, uh... They're not mine. <sighs> and that's it. That's basically everything done. There's a little bit of mess on the desk, the main desk. I'm not touching that. And I still got a little few papers because uh, I'm no way am I filing through paperwork at half past eleven at night. It's getting close to my bedtime. But it's like I'm really kind of proud. I, 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 do I feel liberated? Yes. I have gotten rid of so much stuff. I still have lots left over though, uh, and that's kind of really nice. It means I didn't just throw everything away, but I kept the things that are kind of important to me. Um, and yeah, this place already feels brighter and bigger and, and roomier. Yeah.